Hello everyone, my name is Michael Echave. I'm an AEC Technical Specialist here at ATG USA, and today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks on Bluebeam Review. Today we will be covering custom profiles. Now custom profiles provide an easy way to store your favorite toolbars, menus, and other display settings so that the tools you find most useful are readily available each time you open Review. The other helpful use of profiles is to store custom tool sets and also custom columns in your markups list. So let's hop right over to Bluebeam Review and show you how this can be done. Now that we're in Review, let's show you how you can create these custom profiles and access them. Up here in the top left menu area, you'll find Review. From the drop down, you'll see Profile. And then you'll see ones that have already been preloaded in from out of the box Bluebeam Review. There's Review, Review Advanced, Quantity Takeoff, and field issues. I'm currently in the review advanced profile. Now, if I were to switch to this to what you would usually have from out of the box Bluebeam review, which would be just review, you can see how the actual UI user interface changes. If I go back, profiles, review advanced, I now have some toolbars at the top. I have my panel access on the right with some panels and panel access on the left. Now, again, you can move these around if you wanted to changing them, adding some more toolbars to your menu up here, or actually moving them over to your right as well. I also have my panels. Now, the great thing about the toolbar menu is that they actually have to stay, these toolbars stay within your user environment, but the panels can actually be dragged out and added to a second screen if you had one, or redock them back to the right. Now, any of these changes don't automatically save it to a profile, so what you need to do is hit save. I never recommend hitting save right here because it's gonna override review advanced. I always recommend going to manage profiles, creating a new one by hitting add, and you can name it whatever you'd like. I'm going to put Michael's custom, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And now it's my active profile. I would then hit okay again. I would then go back to profiles and save my changes now. The other thing that gets saved to your profiles are custom tool sets. So be aware of that. You can change the settings if they're showing up in old profiles or not. You just go to tool chest at the top here. You go to manage tool sets here and you can click on an existing one and hit modify and you'll see this show in all profiles. When you are creating a custom tool set, you see that it says down here in the bottom area, show in all profiles. If not, it's gonna show just in the active profile that you have open. If you want to know how to create these custom tool sets, please review one of my older videos on how to create custom tool sets. Now from here down to the markups lists, I'm going to bring this up. I have no PDF open, so I'm just going to open up a default new PDF, just blank. Now when I'm in here, my manage list of my columns, when I go to manage columns here and I go to custom, if I were to add one, I need to be aware it's either just going to save to the PDF or is it gonna to save to the profile? So if I create one here and I wanna save it to the profile, so whenever the profile is open, I have that specific custom um, markups list column, I need to hit save. Well, thank you for joining me today on how to create a custom profile in Bluebeam Review.